Hi guys, Blake here. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at CCP's new um, events, the Egg Hunt, or the Garista Hunt, or it's called something like that. Um, the idea behind it is you're going to jump around various systems looking for little pods. Um, you're going to have to find them by descanning. I'll go through in a minute and show you exactly how we do it, but it can be a little bit fiddly. Then you're going to jump around again looking for combat sites on your probe scanner called the Garista Hunt, I want to say. I'll double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Garista Hunt Outpost. Um, you'll jump through an acceleration gate. There'll be five waves of enemies. They're going to attack you with webs, scrams, newts. They hit you with a lot of different things. Um, they pack quite a punch, to be fair, but they go down quite quickly as well, so... Uh, I'll take you to the fit I'm using. I've taken an MU for this. We've got small auxiliary nano pump. We've got small capacitor control circuit too. Um, again, you get muted, so perhaps something you have to think about. Rail run, rail run, try speaking properly. Rail gun twos with fed navy ammo. Afterburner, just to try and move around a bit quicker. Again, the battery is there just for that EWO protection. A web just to aid with my tracking. Damage control too. That's the only expensive part of the ship, really. Magfield stabiliser and small armor rack too. Um, it's showing up here at 69.5 mil. That's slightly under. Um, I think it was about 80, 85, 86, something like that in GTA, but, um, it turns out this one's slightly overkill in my opinion. You can probably do it in less. Um, first thing you'll have to do though is set up your overview and I've already done this but I'll just quickly undock and um, I'll show you again how I've done it. I say these things can be a little bit fiddly to find so... What you're going to do once you're in space? I created an actual custom tab for this. But you don't need to, you can add it onto whatever you're comfortable with. So, go into your overview settings. What you're looking for in Celestial is nothing. What you're looking for in Entity, scroll all the way down, is a regular capsules. That needs to be enabled, and it's not enabled by default, so you won't actually see it on your overview. And then what you're going to do is go and scan a, try and scan a pod down. I'm actually going to take a catalyst to find these pods and then I'll come back to you when we find one. Okay guys, so I've been bouncing around for a little while. Um, the first pod I found there had already been looted, but hopefully this one hasn't. Now all you're going to do is, same as descanning anything normally, you want to keep going down till you, till you get to the perfect range, so just keep dropping it by a little bit, press scan, keep dropping the range further. Once you've got the range, you need to try and find the direction, so for that what we're going to do, we're going to turn the angle right down, down to 5 degrees. Just see in a sec. Now what happens is once you turn your angle right down, if you look at a target on your overview, you will you will scan from the direction your camera is looking at. So it makes it easier then to narrow it down. Now again, they're still quite fiddly. You can I've had quite a few where we're in that five degree cone and you're getting you know four or five moons and silly things like that. Um, other people suggest the combat scanning from my testing and other people's testing. They're just too small and it takes too long. The easiest thing to do is just descan it down. Uh, I do believe they bounce around the system as well, so you need to be quick. And again, I've not seen it, but I've heard rumors they'll also warp out. So when you do find it, you want to kill it as quickly as possible. Now, it's only a pod, so it doesn't take a great deal of damage. But 
you go to all left to scan it down and then it jumps away. Um, the other thing, they do have a colour, like this one happens to be teal. I've not seen it make any difference at all. There we go, two pops of the guns and it should be dead. I'm after burning in towards this just, again, because I'm scared it's going to jump away. And it's taken me long enough to find this one. And that's it. All you need to do now is go and loot it. You get a weird corpse and you get the key. This is what you need to jump through to the loot room. So all that's left to do now is run the mission. Right, so we've arrived at the um, Garista Hunt outpost. You land in an empty room, you go straight through the jump gate. Now this first room is going to consist of five waves of enemies. Um, as I say, they hit pretty hard, but they fold pretty quickly as well. So um, keep your eyes around. I haven't got one anyway, so it doesn't make that much difference. But you will aggro to them if you look straight away. I'm warped, scrammed, I'm webbed, I'm muted. Um, I'm armor tank in fairness, but if you look how quickly the shields drop in. One, two, three. Okay, this one's gonna take five five shots out on top. But still, they're not particularly tanky. They will also move very, very quickly and um, they all might go up right around so that can make it slightly challenging. See first wave, no problems at all really. Panties aren't bad either if you look at them. There's a second wave now, there's a few more, but again they're all, they're all frigate size so they shouldn't seem to be a problem. Straight in with all the evil. And we're at the start on the record now for the first time, but the tank holds really, really well. But the feeling I'm starting to get for this is this this ship probably overkill for it. And it's 86 mil, so. What I might do is I might come back and try and do it a third Navy Comet or something. But in the back of my mind, it's the second room I'm worried about. What happens is once you clear these five waves, yeah, the acceleration gate's going to become active. Um, you can jump through it then, but you need you need the key to open it that you found earlier on in the pod. And um, once you jump through that, there's a single there's a single NPC waiting for you. Need to blow them up and then you're done. Okay, there's no real strategy here. I'm moving around slightly, but they're always going to be faster than me, so they're going to dictate the range regardless. Obviously, if you're nervous, you could try and prioritise the um, the warp scrams first. Gives you the option to get out then if you need to. Um, I have checked through the loot in the past, and it's from everything I've seen, it's all junk. And just prioritising the destroyers. 
Um, I think this is a bit like the Emerging Conduits in that way you get the fire, well, where you get a set of waves, but what's in them can be random. As you can see, we're all five, six of them on grid. I'm still laughing to use my repper much. One Kestrel sat at like 35, but I don't know, you can see how quickly it closes in now. down to our last enemy. Um, when you've killed all five of the waves, I don't know if you could just sit at the gate for a little bit and take a breath. So, you know, if you're a shield tank, for example, you might want to hang around for a little while and let your shields pick up a bit. But um, I can fancy hanging around just in case another wave spawns. So once you kill all five waves, you can see the gate becomes active and you can jump through. Um, to get through that gate, that's what you need the tag for. We picked up before from the pods. Now it's just the final boss. Now it's only a frigate, but it catches me by surprise. Watch how much damage it does in the first volley. Okay, the second volley. <laughs> so that scared me a little bit, so straight away I've armor wrap's gone on. And then I've overheated it. Drone comes out because one drone's gonna save the day. I'm down to half armor at this point, so I'm very nervous. Then my repper starts kicking and things pick up a little bit. Lots of semi orbit and things, and I overheat my guns as well. And that's it. So, again, it's another one. It hits really hard, but the damage it does is very little. The damage it takes is very little, rather. Now we just need to see what we've got for the loot. And 3.2 million. Now, what I would say is don't be put off by this. Um, it's the lowest loot I've had from this. And I've spoken to people that I've got 20 million. Um, some people have got really high end implants. I think if you've got a ship to do it, it's worth doing. Um, the site itself is very, very easy to, to run. I'd say the only annoying part of it is actually finding the pods, to be honest with you. But um, if nothing else, it's giving you good discount practice. But uh, that's it for me, guys. So thanks very much for watching. Um, if you liked it, please like it. I'll link a couple of my other videos here if you want to take a look at them. Thanks very much and take care.